Welcome back, my name is David Oron and this is my second vlog. Um, right now I'm walking around outside of Starbucks. I got bored inside there. My uh, car's AC is being fixed. I don't have my car right now, so I was just hanging with my cousin Kaylee inside Starbucks. And now I'm just walking around trying to find like a black racer or something. I don't know, dude. If it was just talking to Kaylee, I would just talk to her, but she has to like study and stuff, so I can't distract her, so I have to entertain myself. What if we just found an EDB here? That'd be so raw. I don't really ever stop thinking about EDBs or herping in case you couldn't tell. Kind of like always in my mind. You like my outfit? It's like a little jumpsuit thing I bought from China for $6. They're like the wish out. It's kind of raw. Yes, sir, dude. I spot my little eyes some, uh, some habitat. People probably think I'm up to no good. But when I tell them I'm just looking for snakes, they usually are like, huh? I don't care anymore. Snakes like stuff like this. See, see this right here? A black racer could easily, easily just be chilling in that stuff, man. That's what they like. Do is us, ah, for now. I kinda wanna just climb that. Kayla, you're my vlog. Where's the cheese? Does that tell you I'm doing like bi-weekly vlogs now, but not like bi-weekly as in uh, once every two weeks, but twice in a week? I don't know where the cheese is. Yay, we got it fixed. It was some blower fan issue thing, and now it's fixed. It's a little bit louder than it was before. It's okay. Supposedly it's gonna work better. Only cost me $400. Does it stress me out to have to spend $430 to fix my car when I'm already broke? A little bit. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say about it besides that. Look, I've got my hat on. I'm not supposed to wear it because it's like, I don't know, my, my look or whatever. I don't know, I've just been shying away from it lately with my longer hair and stuff. Just fun to mess around. I'm gonna go out uh, herping my local spot, my favorite spot. Try to get like, a big coat trip or racer or something. I mean, just sort of common snakes. You can get pines in hot weather too. I just, I don't know. I, I've never seen one like in hot weather, so. Headed out towards Bronson and then working our way northwest. That's the plan. Okay, is there like a Kia Soul Club out here that I'm like missing out on? Not that I have one because like I just passed five Kia Souls in a row on this like little road with no other cars. I, I don't I don't know what that was. That was interesting. All right, decided to come back to the place I was last night. Well, in my last vlog, I should say, um, I came here at night, and oh, is that? This is a leaf, right? Yeah, it's just magnolia leaf. Um, didn't see anything last night, but we're gonna give it a go now as we're waiting for it to cool off a little bit. There's some good shade here, and then we'll head out for the west coast. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I think I'm bored and lonely out here. You ever feel that way sometimes? You're just like, what am I doing? It's whatever, I guess. Just chilling. Finally, a little snake, man. It's kind of hard to spot. <laughs> Woo, you are tiny. Yes, sir. Tiny, but packs a powerful punch. Tell you what, this right here is the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. The only species of venomous snake I have ever been bitten by. This is just a little tiny neonate. Probably the smallest I've ever seen, if not, I don't know, close to it. It's a contender at least. Adorable little snake though, isn't it? You know, back in the day on this road, I'd see many as, I don't know, 10, 12 pygmies in one pass would be like the upper limit. It's only the third guy I've seen all year long. It's crazy. And he is so cute. <sighs> Makes you want to lie down right next to him, give him a little kiss, but it's ill-advised for quite a few neurotoxic reasons. Oh. Hello, mate. I don't know if neurotoxic, cytotoxic, I don't know. I don't know my snake toxins, you know how that is. What is this little guy over here? Like a springtail, is that what that's called? There he goes. <laughs> that's so cute. One site that is uh, unmistakable is the uh, site of a rat snake in the road. This one is a gulf hammock rat snake, all stretched out little kinky and knobbly little knobs like that. And this one's really nice. It's got a great kind of dark color. 
with some uh, orangish there at the end. I, I don't think I've seen too many gold hammock rats like that. That is super raw. I'm about it. Yeah, it's like really brown. That's cool, man. But, uh, I felt that one. That's okay. These things happen. I almost got my eyeball. Well, he just proceeded to bite me right in the eye. Only like the second or third rat thing to ever do that. Well, are you so original? Um, he's really cool though. Really cool orangish copper belly. Nice brown coloration. Really love it actually. But uh, without further ado, time to let the sweetheart go. And uh, yeah, head out to our spot. Sorry to bother you like I did, sweetie. Nothing personal. I hope you know that. Get on out of here. Bye. I mean, I'm not really sorry. If I was sorry, I wouldn't pick up the snake. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's hurry back and uh, get our sunset. I mean, really should probably cruise during sunset for like snakes, but. There are a few things in this world that can make me feel cooler than having my face bitten by a snake. I guess in my ill-defined uh, uh, notion of manliness uh, that ranks up there. I mean, definitely under, you know, sharing the gospel and being Christ-like, right? Those are the most manly attributes a person can have. But, um, man, dude, getting bit in the, in the face by a snake has got to be a close third, right? No, I'm, re I'm really just kidding. Obviously, the only real and serious trait that matters in any capacity is being like Christ, right? Jesus is the man. Um, he is the perfect image of what masculinity looks like in every way, shape, and form. So... Um, I don't know. Snake stuff's just kind of a joke. Is that a snake up there? I can't tell. That looked kind of like a snake from far away, did it not? I did. Oh, the sun's getting low. We gotta hurry. I didn't leave myself enough time. It's okay. I mean, I'll still get to see a glorious sunset. I just didn't leave myself enough as much time for the sunset as I probably should have. Wow, beautiful. Hey, hey, snake number three, I'm liking it. Look at this little cutie. Come here, mate. Absolutely enchanting, come here. Oh, look at that blue, that's so pretty. Yes, you're a handsome snake. Ribbon and garter snake must have such a strange sack. It smells like grassy, kind of like this weird, like sickly sweet mowed grass smell. <laughs> Snake number four looks to be another pygmy of the little neonate. Oh no, I'm just kidding. It's just a little tiny uh, Florida band of water snake. Who's just flat enough to be a pygmy. Hey baby, hey. It's uh, neonate season, I guess. Maybe we'll get a neonate mud while we're out here. Wouldn't that be nice? Another one. Sup, bro? Uh. Also, I have dust in my eyes from breaking too late than running back in the dust. Also, something else in my eye, maybe a rat snake tooth, I don't know. A little bit too slow for the sun, I guess. It's a nice cloud formation type behind the trees, that's all. As pristine as it is, I honestly would just like to get back in the road and look for snakes. So, let's head out. Just kidding, I gotta figure out what's making me feel moody first. Hold on. Another reason for, uh, I sorted some stuff out, so I think I feel a little bit better now. Another reason for leaving quickly is there are some uh, rough redneck or scrap scallions hanging out near my car in their pickup truck, whatever that thing was. So, gotta make sure they ain't touch anything, if you know what I'm saying. And by touch anything, I mean steal my pizza topper off my car, which people have tried to do at this exact spot before while well, I've been here. <laughs> yeah, that was awkward. And my car alarm go off, and I was like, oh, no. Now my door, like, is a jar in the back, and it just blows wind. Yeah, anyways, let's go. Imagine if you just couldn't escape the horse flies or deer flies and they were just like always there, no matter what you did. I wonder if you just get used to it, like how the deers do. When I was younger, I don't really think the plague of flies that the Lord sent upon Egypt was that bad of a thing. I was like, well, yeah, I was, so what? Some flies, they're chill. And then I like went to the Everglades one time and I learned what biting flies were. And I was like, oh, okay, I see now. My boy loves his cats, dude. Here's today's fit. Kind of going for a, a Luke Humphlet look. Um, my AC's fixed, so that's good. 
Don't have to worry about getting in my hot car now. Uh, I didn't find much else last night, but was happy for what we did see. And uh, yeah, I think it was a five snake night, four species. Got the pygmy, gold hermic rat, uh, blue striped ribbon snake, and the two little uh, neonate um, Florida banded water snakes. All in all, pretty solid. Um, I don't think I saw a, C a single DOR, makes it even better. Um, so yeah, uh, right now I'm headed to work, the pizza shop, um, and that's that. Ooh, that is a lot of rain. Beautiful. Wow, what a cool car, I guess. Cooler clouds though, am I right? Wow, really glorious little sunset here, I love it. Wow, glorious there, and then really interesting cloud over there. It looks like smoke, but it's not. It's so strange. Wow, I love it. Though. It's weird because I feel like uh, sunset is far and above the most peaceful time of the day for me as I, you know, reflect upon God's goodness and beauty and creation and stuff. It sort of sets my soul at ease, and then after it sets, you know, it's dark outside, the lack of sunlight. I get a little antsy sometimes. I don't know, not always, just sometimes. It's just weird. Sometimes I wish, wish like, sunset would last forever. But then if I did, I guess it would be so normalized that we'd... I don't know, I guess it's... it's rarity adds to its beauty, or it's... No, I'm not sure. It's rambling now. It's so cold, Marty's they were, like, closing. What are we doing? Like, 15 minutes before we closed. Eat your dragon fruit. Like, Mm. You excited for Dreamland tomorrow? Yeah. Where are we gonna hurt? Tomorrow. Right? We... It's tomorrow. It's tonight. Uh huh. No, it's, it's two nights. Tomorrow night. I am off work and driving at my local spot because the grind never stops. One time I got a uh, snappy turtle crossing the road, a little baby one. Okay. Last time my album comes out tonight. Pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm gonna try to go out herping with Noah. It's a little bit too rainy for any good herping activity. I don't know, maybe a king snake could still be out though, we'll see. Wow, it really cooled down. It's 77 degrees. That rainstorm just woo, dropped him like crazy. My friend has got two pine snakes off this road. I don't know how. I've been this road literally over 100 times and I've never even seen a deer or anything, much less a live something. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Check this out. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, the pink's not even showing up. That is a glorious shade of pink. Why is it showing up as orange on my phone? Come on now. That's not right. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh -wee. That is gorgeous. Praise God. Okay, it's still not done yet. Look at that over there. Oh my gosh, I've never seen someone take so long with a piezilla before. Wow, man, look at that. Perfect, dude. You gotta flip it down like... Yeah. Yeah. You can't hit it. It's gotta do like a nice... Alright, like that. Hey, there we go. <laughs> there, there, there it is. Yes, sir. Oh, he comes out the YouTube vlog to document Noah's... Habit. That's the only thing David ever videos. David only gets famous because- Check it out. It's a cool kind of sphinx moth. Moths are really cool. And if you don't like them, you should. No way. What is this? My lucky night, dude? Glass animals comes out in 10 minutes. And we have an amazing looking polyphemus moth. Wow, that thing's beautiful. Wow. Take him somewhere. He'll be safer. Up there, be like, oh, you thought. Look at his ears. Glass almost comes out in 10 minutes. We put him go on the tree. He's so pretty. We it's a polyphemus moth. And also, there's this little cool guy. Yep. All right, he's not as cool, but he's okay. Wait. Yo, that was like, I don't know, a long time ago. What was that? Beginning of August. So now we're like beginning of October. So that was two months ago, but here's my outro for it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. 
Look at that, dude. Nico's got a haircut. My mama looks great. I got a haircut too from that video. But, anyways, um, yeah, I kind of like slacked off the vlogging and like haven't been editing or posting, so everything's like two months behind, and I, I don't know. But I'm just gonna upload and edit and post these anyways, and then I'll try to get back on it again. It'll give me motivation if I keep editing them. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll try to do another one soon here instead of like waiting four weeks or whatever how long it's been. Have a great day, and remember, always shop Newberry Pizza.